Hi guys, this is a video of our trip to Osaka Castle. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. So we went to Osaka from Kyoto as a day trip. We got the JR Rail Pass for a one week unlimited. And I was really concerned about having to um, get tickets beforehand and reserving seats. But it turns out you really don't have to. You can just go there and there are some... Uh, So when you get to the train station, you look at the board and the destination you want to go to is Shin Osaka. Um, so first you see the yellow ones are Nozomi and those trains are excluded from the JR Rail Pass. So for us, since we had the Rail Pass, we would take the Kodama train, which is train number 697. And then if you look to the right, it tells you where track to go to, at just track number 13. In the middle, you see the time, it's 9.39. The trains in Japan are always on time. So if you're on track 13 and it's 9.37 and the train shows up, that's not your train. Don't get on it. You have to wait for the one that's 9.39. It'll always be on time. And if there isn't, then there'll be announcements and like flashing lights and they'll let you know. So and that's how great the public transportation is in Japan. So the time to travel from Kyoto to Shin Osaka is probably about an hour and a half. Depending on which train you take, if you take Nozomi, it might be a little bit faster but you would be paying more than if you were riding on a different train because it would be stopping at fewer stations. Um, after you get to Shin Osaka, you have to take another train to get to Osaka. And please like this video and subscribe if you're liking what you're seeing. So here we are at Osaka train station. Um, we are exiting and this is the view from the exit. It's really nice. There's lots of shops there and restaurants where you can grab a bite. Um, this is where you go to see the Osaka Castle. Enjoy the view. walk to get to Osaka Castle is actually quite long and there isn't like a whole lot of shade so it did get really hot. We had to stop a few times in the shade because we were like getting overheated but I would say it's maybe a good 20 to 25 minute walk depending on how fast you walk and uh, how well you can tolerate the heat <laughs> at that time. Um, there was also like a train like a trolley thing that was uh, like transporting people around. You can see it right there, those little red carts. But we didn't know how to get tickets for that and we weren't sure where it would take us, when it started, when it ended. So we just decided to walk because it is really beautiful in the area and you can take a lot of pictures while you're there. Just in case you were hoping that this video would lead you to inside the castle, we did not go inside the castle. It's more of like a museum kind of a thing. Josh and I are not huge fans of museums, but we do like to see like amazing buildings such as this one. And you know, it's a cool place to go to. So we just went there to check out the castle itself. There was also like a huge line in the sun to get inside even though we got there around like 11. So if you really want to go to the castle, I would recommend you show up by like 8 o'clock. I don't know when they open, but definitely be there right around opening time because it will definitely be cooler at that time if you're going in the summer. 
and then you won't have to wait as long in line to get inside or to get tickets actually to even go inside at the castle and it's huge like to get a good picture with it you really have to be pretty far from it um if you're like right up there you're not gonna get a great shot it'll be kind of like awkward um yeah but a lot of people were just there taking pictures of it it's really magnificent from the outside i'm pretty sure it's very interesting inside as well unfortunately this is not the video for that footage but i do recommend checking it out just to see like wow you know they actually built this ginormous castle and it has a moat and it's very well maintained around the castle. It's a beautiful place to visit, to relax, sit down in the shade, breathe in some fresh air, and enjoy the quieter parts of Japan. See that water? It's like really green though. We're at the top now. See? Beautiful. Let me get the water down there. What happened? Yeah, I see the line over there. Just cash, yeah, cash or coins. Um, I'm gonna try the Hershey's Choco Manaka, whatever that is. <laughs> Maybe chocolate. I wish chip. I knew what oh, is this cow, is that my soda flavored one that I had. Um, the soda I had yesterday. Oh, the, the Calpis? Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> it's a terrible name, but. <laughs> Yeah. Should come down. I think I'm going to get that one. This is like coffee flavor. Is it? Let me try it. Hey, no, I don't like chocolate. I mean, that's chocolate. Hey guys, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna open up the Hershey, see what it looks like. It's like a waffle. Two waffles together with um, ice cream. One half, I take out? Yeah, and break it. Have my other one? Yeah, sure, we do that. There we go, look at it.
This is a uh, coffee flavoring. I'm assuming because of the coffee cup. <laughs> might be a teacup. Oh, shit. <laughs> <Could be. laughs> I don't want to see. coffee. <laughs> Alright, come lower. Alright. Let's share it. Taste it. If it's tea, I don't want it. No, it smells like coffee. Yep, it's good. Oh, sure, it's good. Really good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it tastes like um, like mocha, right? Mm. One of the things I really like about Japan are all of its vending machines with all of its incredible amount of variety and of course there's ice cream machines everywhere all the time so next up is graham pancakes so graham pancakes is well known for their souffle like pancakes i think it just means there's a lot of egg in it and it's very very jiggly you've probably seen videos on instagram or on youtube about these pancakes they're super fluffy but for me it just tastes like a pancake Anyway, if you like this video, please make sure you like it before you go and subscribe. Thank you.